Hello, welcome, and thanks for taking your time to join us live on Projan Media TV. Wherever you are and where you're tuning in from, we are very grateful. But kind you, consider subscribing and turning on the notification button for more of these updates. Paul Kagame finally agrees to the allegation that the Rwandan country, Rwandan officials, and the government officials have been spying on Ugandan officials. Therefore, he agrees to it and responds saying that they will continue to spy on Uganda however much they want to. Uh, once again, thanks for joining us live on Progen Media TV. But let's take more look into some of these details. Uh, following global reports suggesting that Rwandan government was investing heavily in the Pegasus espionage technology targeting Uganda government officials, the head of state, Paul Kagame, has reportedly come out to admit the claim, and therefore, he, according to other media reports quoted by the Observer in a screaming front page headline, reading that Kagame said, yes, we spy on Uganda, and it is insinuated that Chigali is not in good terms with the Kampala administration. Therefore, in Kagame's quotes, he said that, our country, like any other country, does intelligence. For us to know our enemies and what they do wherever they are is something we have always tried to do within our rights. Therefore, we know a lot about them, but we use mainly human intelligence, and we are very good at that. For your information, we really do a good job at that. So the Observer paper quotes Kagame to have said so, the unapologetic Kagame says Rwanda is ready for any reprisals if Uganda opts to cross the red line. The Ugandan State Minister for Foreign Affairs, that is Okelo Oriem, says the Rwandan actions, if true, are regrettable and may impact on the bilateral ties between the two East African states. Political analysts say the Rwandan-Ugandan feud could have stemmed from their contesting interest in the neighboring mineral-rich Eastern Congo region. At some, point, at some point, the two countries were involved in an armed offensive in Kisanga, Nidharis, Congo, where they had both deployed allegedly for peacekeeping, yet in actual sense they were after the mineral and natural resources, resource heist. And if we take it into credible reports about this Pegasus technology firm, it has indicated that Museven and his government officials were targeted by the Chigali at the peak of the two East African nations' bitter row. And according to this investigation by the UK-based Guardian newspaper, it has been established that Chigali deliberate, deliberately tasked Pegasus technology firm to put Ugandan government officials close to President Museven on 24-7 surveillance as suspicious Paul Kagame sought to undermine the sovereignty of Uganda, whom he thought was funding rebel activities in the Eastern Congo. And an analysis of the leaked data shows that Dr. Livingstone Rukana Rohan Rugunda was selected as a candidate for potential surveillance in 2018 and 2019 when he served as Prime Minister of Uganda and a selection seemingly made by the government of Rwanda. Also on the watch list were top military officials in Kampala. And in some briefings uh, of State Minister for Foreign Affairs, there is Henry Okelo Oriam, has defined the Rwandan engineered espionage as an attempt of undermining Uganda's sovereignty. And therefore he says that he shall they shall investigate and find out what they had to monitor uh, their officials. So this, if proved to be true, is a regrettable act. And he told journalists in the media. And in 2018, Chigali Kampala tensions heightened to the point that even the Rwanda-Uganda border was closed. President Joel Museven and Paul Kagame are said to be foes with each other suspecting the other to be backing Eastern Congo-based rebels to topple either government. And therefore, not only Uganda that is under Pegasus watch, but also other heads of state. And this includes the South African president, that is Sayuri Ramaphosa, 
who appears to have been selected by Rwanda in 2019. And there is Emmanuel Macron, the French president, who appears to have been selected as a person of interest by Morocco in 2019. Uh, an allies official said if this is proven, it is clearly very serious. All lights will be shed on this. Uh, on this. So therefore, Paul Kagame has agreed to it. All these allegations that has been on doubts are true. He agreed to it. He said that he will keep on spying on Uganda however much they want to. Well, that is it for now. Thanks for watching Projan Media TV. We'll keep on updating with more of this. Kindly do one thing. Subscribe and turn on the notification button. All these updates will come to you in time.